Hello, Diff Dar. Hello, Mr Pope. Hello, Mr Chislett. Hi, guys. It's been a long time no see. Nice to see you all again. It's lovely to see you all again. We cannot wait to see you next week. It's so soon. Mrs Pope, how are you? Well, I'm excited to be back and excited about seeing everyone next week. Yes, but I've had a really good summer. Good. Lovely. Yourself? Yes, also very excited. A little bit nervous, I have to say. It's, also, yeah. it's lots of things which are a little bit different and we want it to be as perfect as possible. So I think we're all feeling a bit nervous. But together, we're going to make it work. Absolutely. Absolutely. Brilliant. Now, we asked you uh, whether you had any questions to ask us. Uh, and lots of you have helped us out. So um, we're going to try and answer them now. Um, Mrs Pope, would you like to start us off? Can't wait. Right, so the first question that lots of you asked um, was about if you would be able to play with your friends um, when you come back to school. That's a brilliant question. Uh, yes, the short answer is yes. Um, children in your year group will be in your bubble. So if you're in year one, all of the children in year one will be in your bubble. And that means that you'll be uh, in playtime and in lunchtime together. We will ask older children, who are a little bit more ready, to keep some distance when you can. But we also want you all to relax and behave like children. So most importantly, you're back at school, you're here to have fun, and you're here to learn, uh, and we want you to behave like children when you're doing that. So that was the long answer, but the short answer is, yes, you can play with your friends. And, and also, in, is that in and then around the classrooms, are they going to be looking a bit different? They sure are. So, if you are in, uh, again, say for example year one, here we are in, in uh, class three, uh, you might find actually that your classroom looks even less formal than it did before. And that's because we want uh, those of you who are coming up from reception into year one to have a really nice smooth journey into year one. So you will find initially that there's more moving around in the classroom than might have happened in year one. Um, for older children, where you are a little bit more ready to keep distance where it's possible, you might find, uh, particularly for years five and six, that your tables are arranged differently in rows to begin with. That doesn't mean that you'll always be sitting in those rows, but where it's possible, you'll be facing forwards if we can do that. Okay. You will still need to work together with each other and you will still need to do all sorts of activities together. Um, but where it's possible, you'll be uh, facing forwards to make sure everyone's keeping as uh, safe as we possibly can. Okay. Now, a question for you. Ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, I'm just reading my carefully placed piece of paper down here. I'm just pretending <laughs> you're there. I know, you're doing a brilliant point, job. Point um, can I, uh, Miss Pope, can we bring in our pencil case? Well, it's a good question, Mr Chisler. Um, and the short answer is, unfortunately not. Yeah, I used to so look forward to buying my pens and pencils before mm. I came back to school, but again, what we want to do is limit what is coming from home into school and then from school back home again. So what we have done is we have ordered everybody, very exciting, zippy bags to put all your things in. So you have all the equipment you need provided by school. So your pencil, your pen, your rubber, your ruler, whatever it is you need. And you'll all have your own personal bag, zippy little bag to keep it in. And it will stay in school. So it'll be here in the mornings when you come back in. And they'll just be somewhere safe for you to store them in the classroom. So no marvel pencil cases i'm afraid or lol dolls so but the zippy bags very exciting awesome so yes short answer no <laughs> there you go we will and um, we will be using things like art resources and so on mm -hmm. uh, and that's important so we're not going to stop you using those but the reason you'll have your own pencil and pen and so on is because you use them lots of the time so we'll use our own ones for, for that fact thank you um I can't remember, is this my question for you? Yeah, I'm going to make it your question, Mr Chislett. So okay. it's again about bringing things in from home and what, what um, mm. we'd expect from the children when they come in next week. So should they bring their PE kit? Initially, no thank you. You will be a little bit later, um, once we've got you back in safe and sound and once we've got our system set up, yes, you will need your, your PE kits. Um, but to begin with, for the first few days, you won't be needing them. Um, and that just allows us to make sure our pegs are nice and tidy and all our spaces are nice and tidy uh, so we can get everything else set up. So keep them at home for now. I have noticed a few PE kits are still here from March. Um, 
don't worry, you're not alone if, if that's you. Um, just um, we'll make sure it's in your new classroom when you come back, uh, and we'll make sure uh, that you can take it home, give it a good wash, uh, and have it ready for when we need it. We will then send you a message when it's the right time to bring your PE kit. Right. But I'm going to link this very cleverly, may I say, mm. into the next question, which is that doesn't mean that you're not going to be doing things outdoors and That's playing silly. games and playing together. So one of the questions was about being outdoors. Um, we are so lucky here. We've got the most amazing outdoor space and we want to make sure that you're using it as much as possible when you come back to school. So um, there is a uh, expectation that all of you, as much as possible, uh, the activities that teachers are planning, all of you will be doing some of those outside at some point during the day. So that could be games and obviously because you'll be in your bubble, so those activities will be planned around either the year twos going out and doing something or the year ones or the year sixes, um, you will be able to be out together in that space. Uh, so it's really exciting actually um, and that space is for the whole day so for example year ones you might have your space outside and you can come and go and use it as you please and we know that you'll be safe in that space and other children won't be using it so it's very exciting and i'm sure the teachers have got activities planned that means you're going to go out have some fun um, and get back to used to being back together again absolutely loads and loads of outdoors it's going to be brilliant can't wait um I'm doing a terrible well, job I'm, doing this. I'm doing this, but I'm doing this. We're doing well, aren't we? We're doing it brilliantly. Absolutely. I'm going to ask you um, about the most important uh, subject of separate toilets. How is the toilets going to work? Um, well, sadly, we don't have uh, enough toilets for each bubble to have their own toilet. We do in some year groups. Uh, so, for example, in year three and in year four, you will have your own toilets, uh, and they'll be just for your classes as that happens. Uh, for other year groups, you will need to share toilets, but they will be cleaned very regularly uh, and you will obviously be uh, washing your hands and looking after yourself uh, as you normally would as well. So some toilets will be shared between bubbles, but that's being done in a very safe way indeed. Good question, Mrs. Pope. Thanks very much. <laughs> um, and is that a question at the bottom? It yes, is. it is. It's a brilliant question at the bottom um, from, uh, I believe this one was from Ethan. Um, uh, can I bring my bike or scooter to school? We did a big thing about this before um, last term about ride to school and walk to school and I think now we want to limit as many cars being driven and people being dropped off as possible. So the answer is yes absolutely you can bring your bike and scooter to school and we would recommend that you do so. I think uh, one of the questions that Ethan was saying is because we have now got more entrances when you come in in the morning, is can, say if you're in year three and you're not coming in that way, can you put your bike or your scooter in the shelter um, before you come into class? And we're saying yes, absolutely. So if you are in year three or four and your entrance into school will be through the big car park gates and you've got a bike or scooter, you can come in through the normal way that you come into school, put your bike and scooter in, and then continue to walk up through the gates into the Key Stage 2 playground and go to your classroom that way. We're going to try that to start with and see how many bikes and scooters we've got. At the moment, we feel it would still be safe to add a few extra children going in that way. If we're talking lots, then we might make some few, make a few changes as we move forward. But as it stands, I think it only is year three and four really, because then you're the only ones with that separate entrance. You can come in the normal gates into school, put your bike and scooter in, and then continue walking that way with the year fives and sixes essentially. Just be sensible about who, you, who you're close to and who you're around. Okay, and then we'll let you know if there's any changes. Absolutely, thank you. And cycling or scootering is a great way of getting to school, as is walking. And we've talked a lot about this, as we say, walking to school is a brilliant way to start your day. If you live further away and your grown-ups need to drive you, we have asked that wherever possible, you park a little bit further away from school, please, and then just walk that last little bit. And the trick there will probably be getting up when your alarm goes off the first time uh, so that you're ready for your day at school. Um, if you can't do that and you're worried about that with your grown-ups, get in touch with us and we'll help you find the best plan. But for most of you, you should be able to park a little bit further away and walk that last bit and that will help you stay safe and help all of us stay safe uh, in the mornings. 
Those are all of our questions from Good question. you guys. They were excellent questions, thank you. Now that's not the end of your questions. You don't need to keep, uh, uh, keep your questions inside now. You probably will have more. And as I said at the beginning, we're all feeling a bit nervous because things are new and we want it to work as brilliantly as it will. Okay, we're all here to help each other. Mm -hmm. We're all here to have a great time back at school. We are all enormously excited um, because we've missed you. Some of you haven't been here for a long time and we really miss you and can't wait to have you back. On Monday, years one to six will all be here but you'll, and you'll be in your new classrooms but with your old class teacher. And that's because we want you to have that opportunity to celebrate all you did last year and to say well done. Uh, and then from Tuesday, you'll be in your new classrooms with your new class teacher, okay? So we think that's going to be the best way to help you have a nice easing in to the new place. And there'll be lots of us around on Monday morning to help you, so if you're feeling a bit anxious about, I don't quite know where I'm going, then there will be somebody to ask, so please come and ask us and we'll help you. We want that morning to be a really positive start back in school. Absolutely. And Wilfred's going to be here to welcome you as well to the dog. Oh, some of you haven't met him. He's so excited. We need to get him a tie. I need to get him a pen pole. Yes, you do. Or a oh. cap. Something like that. I'll sort that out. I'll sort that out. So he'll be there front on Monday to meet you as well. But it is. It's really exciting. It really is. Yeah. It really is. Um, I'm glad you mentioned ties, actually. Um, our uniform, to begin with, it won't be compulsory to wear our uniform. Some of you, a lot of you probably will wear your uniform because you'll have it ready. Some of you won't have the bits ready yet and your grown-ups will need to order some for you. In a few weeks' time, when you've had a chance to get all those bits ready, we will have our uniform back properly where uh, everyone wears it again. Um, but we have said for the time being, leave your ties at home, please. Even Oh, you dashed I'm my hopes, Cap. Yes, you can wear one of those. Or a little bandana. That would be okay, yeah. I'm going oh, <laughs> to get him to walk off and make him stand up. That's awesome. If you have met Wilfred uh, before, I saw him today for the first time in uh, about a month, mm -hmm. and he has shot up. He's giant. Yes. He he's not giant. He's not that. Don't worry, parents. But he's, <laughs> he's a bit bigger, and he's very, very friendly. Uh, lovely. Well, Mrs. Spoke, did you want to add anything? No, I just can't no. wait. Let's get started. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Get in touch if you've got any more questions. Uh, but as Mrs. Pope said, we'll be out and about Monday morning and we cannot wait to see you. All right. See you soon. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.